Hey guys, so I was tagged by one of my good friends here on YouTube, Kara Mia from Kara Mia's Corner, and she tagged me to do a craft cart tour. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have two craft cards, as you can see here. And um, this one is from Michael's, and this one is from Target. So the first one, I'll just show you the smallest one first. So up here, this is where I store a lot of my um, handmade cards and some happy mail that I have received from friends. And here are just some random um, ephemera and stickers and gold foil and whatnot. Um, this is almost like a catch me all cart. So I just put stuff that needs to be put away in this cart and this is from like my recent haul and then down here are more cards from my recent videos that i need to put away in my um, donation box and then here i have like this this is from coco daisy and i actually subscribe to them and um i haven't used it i have like four months worth i kind i canceled it because i haven't um, done anything with them and so yeah I canceled it and they're like um, memory keeping subscription and then down here is where I keep all of my pink and main and spellbinders extras so I really need to do something about that because it's I'm running out of space there as you can see so now this one here is my workhorse workhorse cart and I actually reorganize this since Karamia tagged me I wanted to make sure that um, I show you a cleaner version of my cart so I did reorganize this so here we go so on the first one, oh actually these bins right here these are from Target okay so here I store my long um, stencils and my um, what is it called slimline dies and other stamps that i need to put away so as you can see right here and i also store my bigger stamps in here that are too big to fit in these bins like in these bins i just store like my you know um four by six stamps is it four by six anyways yeah i store them here and then here i'll just store my bigger stamps as you can see and some of them do need to be put away in those pockets and I store my stamps in those Avery L pockets and um, I was a member of the Glimmer Hot Foil um, Club but I didn't even get a chance to make any of those yet on my channel like I have so many plants but so little time like I want to share so many things with you guys but it's just not enough time I guess and then here I store a lot of my um, scene building dies and you know hearts and squares and other dies that I've just accumulated over the years and again they're stored in the Avriel and they're easy for me to reach and so I like that and so I can just bring my cart over to my desk and, um, I have like a craft corner so as you can see here this is where I keep my craft corner so then I can just bring it here and then so yeah and this one here is my damn it doll like we all have those frustrating days don't we girls or gentlemen so we need a damn it doll and this says whenever things don't go so well and you want to hit the wall and yell here's a little damn it doll that you can't do without just grasp it firmly by the legs and and find a place to slam it and as you whack the stuffing out yell damn it damn it damn it yeah <laughs> I got this at Williamsburg Virginia I love that doll I I keep it here on the cart and I have whacked that thing many times out of frustration and then here I store my mini Stampin' Dimensionals and Dimensionals these are my favorite dimensionals to use. Let me have a seat here so then I can give you a better view. And then here, these are things I showed you in my recent haul. Like the stamps and the 
doodle pops that I need to find a home for, which will probably go up there. Sorry, my daughter and my husband, they're watching TV, so you'll hear them. I don't have a door in my office, so yeah. So these need to be put away. And here I also store like my, um, my mask, my stencils, and my favorite Stampin' Up um, dies. The layering squares, circles, and ovals. And here, here is where I stored my new gel press. And so down here, this is where I store my um, Copic refills. Um, I don't have a lot of Copics, so it was easier for me to purchase the refills. These are all the Copic markers I have. So these are all the refills that it requires. And then back here, I store these um, Tim Holtz bins. And these hold like sequin, oh no, not sequins, jewels. And here, like I just have like the mini ink spots from Stampin' Up. Like if you're like a member of their, um, what do you call it, paper pumpkin, then um, you get one mini ink spot. And then here... I store more jewels and here is like my most reached for sequence I store it in here and these are my favorite pink fresh jewels sorry if it's blurry and in here back here I store my close to my heart um, stamps and then these are my tailored expression sentiment strips I don't have a room for them like I don't want to take them out of the plastic because they're red rubber so I figured they're they should stay in there and then here I keep all of my doodle bug odds and ends and um, chit chat and then here's like my watercolor pencil some bigger stencils and stuff and then down here I keep my packaging my magnets my Avery L pockets and other packaging and then here are all my embossing folders and down here is my scraps so that's it guys this is a tour of my craft cart I'm going to tag a couple of my friends here first one is Biddy Penny second one is Letty from Paper Planner Papery third one is Cheryl and the fourth one is Jen from Scrapina Creations. Um, would love to see your cards if you have one. And I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video. Bye.